Hello again, Queen Rain here, and we're about to start up Baylor's Prime. We've got a new robot called the Beeper Bot. The phase energy system and the plasma core make this robot pretty nasty. Um, if you destroy it at short range, it'll do a lot of damage to you, so be careful. Hello again, everyone. Queen Rain here. Well, I'm finally back after my break, and I hope you guys all had uh, an awesome Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. Today we'll be starting uh, Belor's Prime 1, Yator 3. Uh, this is level 17. So the first thing you want to watch out for is a hatch right there that opens. Oh yes, we have some new, some new nasties to look out for. The uh, beeper bot. Do your absolute best to not destroy those at short range. They will really screw your shields up. For whatever reason, they wanted to give you a good taste of the new enemies, so they did. I'm not too worried about something sneaky. Oops. Yeah. Okay. We can move on now. The uh, two smelters that I destroyed that were down this hallway, they, uh, for whatever reason, they're armed with super rapid fire uh, cannons. Um, yeah, like that. Why am I rusty? Ended up taking a two week break for Christmas. Didn't play Descent at all in that time, and now I'm all rusty. Oh well. Can't be helped, I guess. Okay, now under this lava, there's some robots. You'll notice the guided missile that we grabbed earlier. So what you want to do, select your guided missile, and open the wall on the other side. Here we have another Earthshaker missile. These will become more common in, as we go on. Earthshaker missiles are indisputably the most powerful weapon in the game, no contest. They are a super high explosive weapon that acts somewhat like a smart missile combined with a Mega Missile. They have Mega Missile sized homing flechettes. Alright. Okay, so you want to watch it when you're coming down here. Anyway, like I was saying about the Earthshaker missiles, they have mega missile sized homing flechettes that totally destroy whatever they're going to come in contact with. They are so powerful, in fact, that they cause the mine to convulse because they're so powerful.
this becomes especially annoying because the final boss is uh, armed with them. Alright, so. Got a locked hatch. And a switch. There's a couple of ways to do this. I like to try to hit the switch with guided missiles, but, uh. Well, we'll try that method. Guided missiles have a lot of uses other than just destroying robots. They're excellent for solving switch puzzles like this. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna have to try this the other way. I only get one shot at this, so wish me luck. Hey, I did it! Yeah, watch it when you come up here. Now that we've gotten this area out of the way, we can continue with the level. Boy, there's a lot of robots. Oh look, the full map. But fortunately for once, they've made it relatively easy to find the switch for the darn thing. Now for this next part, you want the Hubix Cannon. You want to keep moving, because these guys, remember, they're big and lumbering, and they may be big and lumbering, but they are tough. And boy, can they hurt you. Now, for those of you wondering where the Thief Bot is, you'll notice that some of the areas in this room are totally inaccessible. The Thief Bot is hidden within one of them. I don't remember which one. But as you pick up the keys, you unlock the uh, hidden areas. And watch it on your left here, there's a uh, cloaked smelter. Try not to do that too often with the Gauss Cannon. Curious dead end, huh? Not so curious anymore. The entrance to the Baylor's Prime secret level. I really dislike this secret level, so I'm not going to do it. But now you know where the entrance is. Remember, folks, map is your friend. Use it as much as you can, because otherwise you're going to end up getting lost in some of the longer levels. Watch it, there's a cloaked robot in here. Right about there. It was a, uh, a cloaked smelter. I found him the hard way a couple of times. Not so much fun. Okay, I still haven't picked up the blue key yet, so I'm gonna have to, There's a, a guppy on the level who's got it, so I'm gonna have to go find the little bastard. Oh look, a random ghost cannon. I'll take that. I need to get back to the main level. A lot of the paths in this level aren't immediately apparent, so you have to make an effort to find them, you know?
There we go. And key go. There it is. Okay, so we've gotten the blue key now. Oh yeah, to get in, to, there's a secret hatch right there. To get in, there's a switch. And like most other switch doors, you only get one shot at it, so you gotta make it count. 